in this segment of California Veggie Garden, we're going to be planting some of our squash. Now what I want to do uh, is uh, heal up the garden. Uh, squash, zucchinis, pumpkins grow best in hills. So you can break your garden into segments. I like to put everything on hills, but squash especially grows great on hills. Uh, so what you need to do is, you can see I've already healed this section up. In the back part here I'm going to plant some corn. The sun shines from this way so the corn will grow up nice and tall along the back fence. And my squash will grow in front, spread out along the sidewalks and everything. Um, so I'd like to even break this front row further into some hills. So let's do that right now. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I got my rake. Now we're ready to break up the hill uh, into uh, portions. Usually if you have like a 3x3 three three chunk, that's pretty good. So we're just going to do that. We're going to hill the dirt up more, break it into portions. So then you have good drainage for your pumpkins. And also the moisture kind of sits down lower where the roots can go down and get a drink from there. Okay, so you can see I've now split this front uh, row into four different sections, which I'll plant my um, squash and pumpkins in. I probably put like four uh, plants on each hill, on the edge of each hill. And then that way they'll grow uh, nicely, have lots of space to spread out, because these things really do take over your yard. So plant them in a space where they can uh, spread out and go crazy. Let me show you where I have some volunteer pumpkins from last year over in the corner where I threw some rotting pumpkins in the winter. Okay, so here's some volunteer pumpkins. I threw some rotting pumpkins here. You can see some of the pumpkins still left and they're taking off. That's the problem if there are pumpkins in your garden. Uh, make sure it's in an area where you're gonna be able to take out the pumpkin seedlings or let them grow and spread out again. So I don't mind them growing here, so I'm gonna leave these ones. Since they're already making some pumpkins I saw back here earlier today, they're blossoming already. You see they send out these runners. These grow really fast in the summer. Uh, each uh, spur will have a blossom, which will be a male blossom, usually a female blossom, which will have the pumpkin, a leaf, and then a, uh, uh, I don't even know what you call these things. So these little things, they latch on to anything. Pumpkins are uh, climbing vines, so if you put them on a trellis, they will grow great on a trellis. Also, I'll show you some pictures of my pumpkin trellis from last year. It's amazing how they'll grow on a trellis. The larger pumpkins need some support, otherwise the vines are pretty strong and they can hold those pumpkins in place as they grow. So, that's what your pumpkins will look like once you got them planted. So let's go back and put some of those pumpkin seeds in the ground. Okay, so we're going to be planting some pumpkins. Uh, here I got heirloom seeds, pumpkin Amish pie by Ferry Morse. I uh, usually want to check out the back, just read the instructions how deep to plant the seeds. Uh, this one, planting depth is one inch. So, what I want to do is, uh, since I'm planting these Amish pumpkins here, I just dig a few holes on the corners of the hill. So it is one of the easiest things to grow. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll just drop a seed in each hole. Uh, if you have leftovers, put a couple seeds in the extra ones. And then when you know for sure that both seeds are popping up, you could just pull out uh, one of those seeds uh, so you don't have two plants growing in one area. That way uh, you can uh, guarantee that you're going to have uh, plants sprouting up where you planted them. And then just cover the, those holes up and then go ahead and water thoroughly to uh, soak those holes. Uh, then what you want to do is <clears throat> keep that soil moist until those plants are popping up. And then you'll have some seedling, seedlings coming up within a few days. Now with pumpkins, they are big eaters, which means you need to fertilize them often. Fertilizer high in potassium will grow you big pumpkins. So initially when the plant is growing you need plant, uh, plant food that's high in nitrogen and then once it's starting to bloom and grow actual pumpkins, uh, plant food that's high in potassium is the best for growing big pumpkins. So remember that when you're growing your pumpkins, heavy on the eating side, uh, they grow a lot. So you need to feed them a lot. Lots of water, good drainage, and lots of fertilizer will grow you really big pumpkins. 
So just keep that in mind when you're growing your pumpkins. I'll show you how they grow throughout the season and I'm sure you'll be surprised. Now you see on this branch there's a good cluster of peaches right here. Uh, way too many for the tree to support. So we're just going to go ahead and bust off a lot of the smaller peaches here so that we can let a few of those bigger ones uh, grow. And I'm still not going to thin them out quite as much as need be but the tree will thin itself out a little bit as well. So there you go. I've thinned out those peaches a bunch.